Can a narcissist ever be a true gentleman? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the question of whether someone with narcissistic personality disorder can ever truly embody the qualities of a gentleman. Now, when we think of a gentleman, certain images and behaviors probably come to mind. Things like being well-mannered, considerate of others, respectable, and chivalrous. But those with NPD are often characterized as being self-absorbed, lacking empathy, and exploitative in relationships. So can these two notions ever align? Let's discuss. Number one, what is narcissistic personality disorder? Narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, is a mental health condition characterized by an exaggerated sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy, and a need for excessive admiration and attention. Those with NPD often have an inflated ego and grandiose sense of self, believing they are superior to others. NPD causes people to be excessively preoccupied with themselves and their image. They crave validation and status. They often take advantage of others for personal gain. They react negatively to any criticism and will go to great lengths to be viewed favorably by others. People with NPD may initially come across as charming, but their relationships are often troubled by their need for control, lack of genuine care for others, and inability to handle anything they perceive as criticism. Their motives are often suspect. Number two, defining a modern gentleman. So what qualities make up the modern notion of a gentleman? While definitions have evolved over time, most people would likely describe a gentleman today as polite and well-mannered in his behavior, gracious and considerate towards others, respectful in his treatment of all people, honest and true to his word, humble and not self-promoting, slow to anger and quick to forgive, well-groomed and tastefully dressed, a protector and advocate for those who need it, in control of his emotions and vulnerabilities, generous with his time, resources, and compassion. So in essence, a gentleman displays empathy, humility, integrity, and respect in all of his dealings. He uplifts others and champions noble causes. Number three, the narcissist versus the gentleman. A narcissist is incapable of genuine empathy and interest in others, which is core to being a gentleman. Narcissists feel entitled to special treatment, rather than believing in treating everyone equally with dignity and respect. They exploit and manipulate people for self-gain, rather than looking out for others' interests before their own. They insist on being the center of attention, not humbly letting their actions speak for themselves. They react arrogantly and angrily to criticism, not with grace, humility, and a desire for self-improvement. A narcissist's desire for status, power, and validation overshadows any capacity for compassion, justice, or wisdom. Their egocentrism, sense of superiority, and lack of conscience make it near impossible for them to practice things like courtesy, chivalry, and altruism consistently. Their relationships inevitably become dysfunctional due to their need for control tendency to devalue others, and lack of mutual care and respect. Number four, can narcissists change? This leads to the question, can a narcissist change for the better over time and learn to more consistently act like a gentleman? The prognosis for narcissists is not very hopeful for several reasons. Their grandiose ego, lack of self-awareness, and sense of entitlement prevent them from recognizing any need to change. They avoid introspection or analysis of their own behavior and the harm it may cause. Overcoming narcissism would require them to acknowledge weaknesses and flaws, which they refuse to do. Their manipulative nature means therapy is often ineffective, as they try to manage impressions rather than be honest. For a narcissist, letting go of their exaggerated self-image feels like a massive threat to their identity and status. They have little motivation to change, since they don't appreciate how their disorder negatively impacts their lives. 
So in summary, while we all likely have some narcissistic tendencies at times, those with full-blown narcissistic personality disorder largely operate from a mindset that makes it almost impossible to exhibit the sincerity, integrity, and compassion of a true gentleman consistently. Their ego-driven nature certainly presents challenges. However, I think we have to strike a balance, have compassion for those struggling with NPD, while also protecting ourselves and setting healthy boundaries against manipulation. As with many mental health issues, a mix of nature and nurture factors lead to the disorder. And for those few narcissists who genuinely have an awakening and commit to change, we should recognize that progress. Very difficult, but not inconceivable. That's all for this video. If you found this analysis helpful, please like and subscribe to join me for more content on relationships, mental health, and self-improvement.